Because computers work with binary numbers, they need to be able to perform arithmetic operations on binary numbers. For example, we may want to add these two binary numbers. Now, the way you do this is very similar to how you add decimal numbers, except you carry over a digit to the next column if you reach or exceed the number 2 instead of the number 10. For example, when I add 1 and 1, the result is 2. Because we're adding binary numbers, a 0 goes in this column, and a 1 carries over to the next column. Now I am adding 1, 0, and 0, and the result is 1. Adding 1 and 0 in this column gives me a 1. Adding 1 and 1 here gives me a 2, which requires me to put a 0 here and carry a 1. Adding 1, 0, and 1 gives me 2 again, and I carry a 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0, and 1 plus 1 is 2, so I put a 0 here and a 1 here. Notice that in adding these two 8-bit numbers, I have produced a result consisting of 9 bits. It's also interesting to note that 8 bits is often referred to as a byte. Now, when we are doing these calculations on paper, we can use as many bits as we want to get our final answer. But a computer reserves a specific number of bits for each address in memory where it stores binary numbers. This number has increased over time and these days it's very common to encounter 64-bit systems. But for the sake of this presentation, let's assume we are working with a computer that only has 8 bits available per memory address. If that's the case, then this 9-bit result cannot be stored in memory, at least not in a single memory address. Only these 8 bits would fit. If you were using an 8-bit computer and adding these two bytes, this result here would be referred to as overflow. This is what happens when an addition or other operation results in a number becoming too large to be stored in a single memory address. Now later in the course when we become more familiar with assembly programming and also with the registers that are part of the CPU, we will see that the occurrence of overflow can actually be detected so that your programs can respond to this anomalous situation appropriately.